put your name okay. on it. The power station. The Obi and Little Sean Morning Show. What it is with SD. What it is. Power 95.3. Oh. oh, it's about that time. If you're going to hear about it anywhere, you're going to hear about it here first. What it is what with SD. What it is with Notorious B.I.G. Biggie's daughter, 18-year-old Tiana Wallace. She will be taking over her father's clothing line. It's called Brooklyn Mint. Now, what's really cool about this story is that she actually attended Penn State. She studied fashion design, and she wanted to kind of follow in her dad's footsteps. Now, when I first read the story, I thought, you know, she was going to rap or do something and try to take over that empire, but it looks like she's going totally opposite and totally delving herself into the fashion line. She says she has a lot of ideas, a lot of creative things that are running through her mind. She wants to attach it to her daddy's Brooklyn, Brooklyn line fashion line and hopefully just make it bigger than ever. This is good to see her, uh, you know, like her Biggie's kid, like an update. On her, oh, that she's yeah. not using drugs and this and that, and she did graduate at Penn State, and she's doing her thing with the yeah. fashion line. Yeah, it's good. good it's for good her. that she's you know on the creative side of it because she kind of looks like her daddy, and she can't be on the modeling side of it. You yeah. Know? Oh <laughs> God, oh, that's why a, are you just, horrible? That's for real, right there. All I'm saying though is too is, is, is <laughs> she's too? gonna be one of the few people who's gonna be able to use uh, Biggie's likeness in her fashion. So as she continues this, uh, uh, what was it called, Brooklyn Mint? Yes, Brooklyn Mint. I didn't even know Mint. that. I didn't even know that existed. Uh, yeah. I asked a few people when I. Reddit, they had no idea it existed, so I'm sure she'll bring a lot more, you know, notoriety to yep. it, make it maybe po- more popular. She should make a clothing line for females through Brook- Brooklyn Men and call it Baby Baby. Oh, oh yeah. Yo, trademark, <laughs> trademark. Okay, what it is with Donald Trump's sons, Eric and Donald Jr. Now, I don't know why every time I talk about this story, ever since I saw the pictures, like I'm sick to my stomach, but it looks like Donald Trump's sons they are hunters. No, they don't like to just hunt any animals. They actually went to Africa and hunted wild animals like crocodiles, elephants, water buffaloes, wild cats, antelopes, like animals that you see on the history channel. I mean, on the, you know, on these channels where you just admire them for their beauty. And here come their sons chopping them apart, hanging up pieces, like holding pieces of their body as trophies. Donald Trump's kids killed Bambi, Dumbo. Uh, Pretty much. Simba. <laughs> yeah, like it just blows my mind because, oh my God, like I, my tongue really gets grossed out when I think about this photo. He is holding the tail of an elephant. You see the hair, Freshly you see cut. the meat, uh, and um, he's holding it like a trophy. Like, who are you? And, and, and in one of the other pictures, if you guys blog up in uh, power953.com, yeah. we'll put these pictures up there as well. Trump's kids. Both sons are also holding up a dead, what what seems to be a, a dead cheeto or leopard. Yeah, like a yeah. wild cat. It's called a civet, look, 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 civet cat is look, what I'm mom, reading. Look what I just killed. I couldn't believe it. So I don't know. I mean, some people are hunters like Obi, more power to you, whatever. But a lot of animal enthusiasts are really affected by these pictures because they're just horrible. Then they softened it a little bit. They did donate the meat to the villagers. But still, I mean, this is just see, insane. Man, see, they fed a lot of people, man. I, I see don't no know problem about with these pictures. Story. And that's what it is. I do. I want one of those leopards in my living room. What? Uh, Shut stuff. up. You're kidding. Stuff. You're kidding. Every 50 after with the OVN Little Sean Show. Kit Kat. Break time. Anytime. This is Robert Palmer, president of RP 